returning to the lovely town of Newbach, let's give a visit to good old Professor Elm. Oh, hi there! I have all eight badges. I'm way better than you. Hi, Professor Elm. Aren't I amazing? You know, if it's this easy to become champion, why isn't everyone champion? I mean, it doesn't seem that difficult. So anyway, Elm's gonna give you a Master Ball. And this is the big granddaddy of all Pokeballs. You can catch anything, guaranteed, 100%, if you just use the Master Ball. However, you only get one, so make it count. I like to save my Master Ball for the most ridiculous off chance I would run into like a legendary shiny or something, or a shiny Skarmory. I would use a Master Ball on a shiny Skarmory. But um, aside from that, I mean, you really should attempt to catch legendaries without Master Balls, but it's always in your pocket. Anyway, Elm is going to be like, yo, you got to go off to the Kingdom of Zill. You have to fight the Kimono Girls. So that's where we're off to next. And I need to heal because I still haven't healed from uh, my last adventure. Ah, uh, welcome to the Serene City. Oh yeah, we were already here. Never mind. Anyway, you know our location. It is right here. Whoa, where'd you come from? He... He lost? Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> he is a strange one, isn't he? Well, welcome to a fun challenge we have here. Well, as soon as you are ready, this is essentially a gym battle, so let's begin. Okay, the Kimono Girls. Uh, they start off, you have to fight all five of them in a row without healing. The first one has Umbreon, level 38, Dark type, which can use Last Resort, Dark Pulse, Confuse Ray, and Shadow Ball. And I really expected that to do more damage. Um, I recommend whatever Pokemon you have at the front is good to fight all five. A normal type is a good choice to have to start off. Um, okay, well, I thought Headbutt would do more damage, but apparently I forgot how much of a wall Umbreon is. Uh, huh. I wish I could use Spikes, but this is not Fire, or they're all separate battles. Hmm. Yeah, we'll try stealing. Uh, I hate the confusion. This is by no means an easy challenge. Back in second generation, you fought the Kimono Girls. You could fight them as soon as you got to Ecritique. So it's kind of different fighting them much later in the game. And they obviously are much stronger. Eh, great. Huh. Huh. I actually kind of wish I saved before fighting this. Hmm. 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 Huh. Now Skarmory's gonna make it out alive, as long as it hits. This is probably one of the few times you're hearing the regular battle music during a battle that isn't sped up in this walkthrough, because I always speed them up. Yeah, you only have one Pokemon, of course you don't have any left. 
Well, round two. Well, round two Umbreon is also level 38. This one is an Espeon. It's level 30. I just said that. Psychic type with the moves Last Resort, Psychic, Psych Up, and Swift. Overall, much more offensive than the Umbreon. However, that means much less defensive. Hurrah! Uh, let's see, we're gonna take this thing down with Umbreon. Like I said, make sure whatever Pokemon you have at the front is good against all five evolutions. It's a great strategy to going into this. It helps immensely. Um, if you haven't figured it out by now, they all use evolutions. Indeed, I am truly strong. Round three. <laughs> Round three, Kimono Girl. Also, level 38, it is a fire type. That means it's Flareon. Flareon knows the moves of Last Resort, Fire Blast, Quick Attack, and Will-O-Wisp. And unfortunately a little irritating with that Will-O-Wisp. So, be careful with burns. Wow, that did way, way less than I thought it would. I know Fur has weak special attack, but I thought it would do more than that. Ugh. Hmm, that isn't good. Whoa, way to live. Well then, let's go, XPL. Explicitable waterfall. Indeed I am. Obviously you're all standing around, so I must be good. Can't you see that from fighting the battles before? Oh yes. Round four. Level 38, electric type. That can only mean Jolteon. It's got the move set of Last Resort Thunderbolt Double Team. Ugh. And Double uh, Thunder Wave. Actually, a very irritating, uh, very irritating Jolteon. I'm just gonna take the faint with Ferret. I'm not gonna bother switching. Um, Jolteon actually was something I considered for my team before Ampharos. Uh, let's see, unfortunately I don't really have much that's good against electric types. And eh, we're gonna go with Typhlosion. Since Typhlosion has no use in the last battle. Oh, I forgot I learned the Lava Plume. My issue is I filmed so far ahead that I edit these videos and I'm thinking back in terms of my team from 20 parts in the walkthrough ago. So, ooh, lucky. Lucky. Well, that worked out well. Well, round five. Well, there's only one evolution left. It's a water type, it's level 38. It's something I used in a walkthrough before. It is Vaporeon. 
Got the move set last resort, Surf, Quick Attack, and Aurora Beam. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I love Vaporeon. It was my favorite Evolution, but now Umbreon's my favorite, so the times have changed. Vaporeon and Umbreon are both really cool Evolutions. I love all the Evolutions. Pokemon did a good job designing the Evolutions. Very proud of them. Kiyoshiro. Alright, let's finish this. Let's go, Rai. Thunderbolt. Destruction rains from the heavens, but only on Wednesdays. And with that being said, we have defeated the Kimono Girls. So, they are going to give you an item. If you're playing Soul Silver, congrats, you're getting the title bell. If you're playing Heart Gold, you're going to get the clear bell. And then one of the little Kimono Girls is going to come in and be like, Yo! Big Pokemon! Over at Whirl Islands. Now obviously if this is Heart Gold, it's going to be different. So, what have we just unleashed? We have unleashed the legend of your respective Pokemon game. This is your Ho or Lugia. So with that said, it's time to go legendary hunting.